I am Stephen Foster and today we are visiting Thetis Island. So it was pretty easy. Here we are. We're in Thetis Island. Let's go check out some beautiful property. Here we are at 113 Pilkey Point Road on Thetis Island. Let's take a leisurely trip down this beautiful driveway and view this great house. You can kind of see behind me the driveway. I'm walking on the driveway. It's a beautiful long entrance to the property. So if you're wondering what six acres is like, well that little thing up there, that's the house. And the rest of this, the property. And then there's a whole bunch more back there. A lot of land, a lot of privacy. If you've ever walked through a park before, it's pretty nice. You know, like Stanley Park and those places. Well, look, I'm walking through a park, except it's your house. And when you're getting tired of the manicured forest, you can walk into this beautiful Salal Oregon grape forest, which is, whoa, which is absolutely beautiful. The house is situated in the middle of its six plus acres. So all you have surrounding you is the forest, the birds, the bees. You're getting the picture. All right, behind me, the pump house, the wellhead. That's where all the action to bring the water up from the ground is. It gets amazing water. Okay, I'm heading down to the rainwater collection. 10,000 gallons, fully automated to fill when you need it filled and it stops when it's finished. If you ever wanted a tool that is the most handy out in this forest, leaf blower. Remember that, leaf blower. Behind me are the storage sheds. There's four different spots. One is electrical for all the pumping systems and the other are for all this other stuff that you want to have while you're living in the country. Oh yeah, power receptacles in every bay in this storage shed as well as a steel roof. And this is the roof that they catch all the water which fills up those 10,000 gallons. Okay, I'm walking over to the wood shed. I love this wood shed. All right, behind me, two bays on this wood shed. Complete concrete floor, steel roof, and room for wood on both sides of the building. There's storage above and down below where we're splitting the wood. There's a concrete pad with a rubber mat on top. It is a wood splitter's dream. Again, even the level of detail that goes into the building of the woodshed. The woodshed alone has the major detail in it. You know, it's, it's nicer than some of the places I've lived in when I was a kid. Thetis Island, I'm on Thetis Island, oh yeah. We are looking at a custom post and beam home today. The inside features are spectacular, so let's have a look. So now we're in this custom home and why do I have this funny angle is so you can see the custom post and beam work above my head here. All the doors behind me are all custom made just to match with the aesthetic of the home. The beams in this house vary in size but we've got up to 8 by 14 even larger in the post and beam elements of this place. Granite countertops, high-end stainless steel appliances, dishwasher, oven, range, fridge, microwave, you know the stuff. Hard to tell, but this is the tighter grain of the old growth, and this is the looser grain of the second growth. So you've got a nice contrast between both. So I'm getting down here. This is where the builder actually matched the grain of the wood in the kitchen on all of this uh, storage. Astounding. I'm gonna head to the living room and sit in front of this custom fireplace because uh, it's still not completely summer yet and I wanna stay warm. The fur windows are big, they go right down to the floor about a foot above the floor so it gives you all that natural light. And they open so you get good air circulation.
Behind me is the glassed-in dining room. Doors open to the patio. Beautiful, you get the sky, you get the air, you get the outside. I'm walking on the fur floors and the grain of the floor flows like the sea. I'm walking upstairs to the master bedroom, the master. It's pretty sweet. As you can see, I'm in the master bedroom and the light is excellent. You lie in bed and stare up at the stars at night. The walk-in closet in the master bedroom has custom alder cabinetry. Can you believe that? Custom alder cabinetry. All right, now I'm walking to the ensuite. Come with me, let's walk into the ensuite. Okay, not only does the master have this great ensuite on it, but it also has a wraparound deck, so when you want to go outside, it's right there. I'm walking on a product called Tech Decking. This stuff is impermeable, and it's in amazing condition. Ah, it's so loud, the silence is deafening. That's what they say. Anyway. It's pretty nice. Hey, look at me, I'm floating in the trees. Floating in the trees. All right, here we go, heading down to the workshop. Did you know this workshop has heated floors? Oh yeah, so when you're working, your feet are nice and warm. I'm walking along this fabulous man-made trail down to the garden, which is fenced to keep all the critters out so you get your vegetables at the end of the season. Behind me in the fenced area of the garden is the raspberry section. Love raspberries, don't you? Plum and apple trees, and this is the herb garden. Garlic and artichokes and chives and numerous varieties. Well, there's no doubt that there's a ton of value in this home. If you want to spend a lot of money and do a lot of renovations, buy something else because there's nothing to do here except enjoy the outside and enjoy your new home. Well, the sun's coming out and I've got a glass of wine to drink. I am Stephen Foster. Give me a call if you would like to take a tour. See you next time.